Hi, my name is Dimitri and in this video I'll show you how to create an invoice in Clockify and how to build clients for your services. Let's get right into it. To create an invoice you first need to enable the feature. So let's go to the workspace settings and turn on the switch button here. You'll notice that the invoices tab will appear in the sidebar. While we're here you can add your company address. This will appear as the address that you build from in your invoices. If you want to customize invoices with your company's logo, you can upload your logo image here and it'll appear in the invoices. Now go to the permissions tab and make sure that billable hours are also enabled. To actually populate an invoice, you first need to have a client and project base. On these projects, you track billable hours and record billable expenses. To add clients, go to the clients page, type in the client name here, and then the client will be added to the list. To add their billing address, click on the pen icon and add their email, address, and in which currency you will bill them. You can now relate that client to new or existing projects. If you need some extra tips on projects and tracking time and expenses, Olga can walk you through it in our other videos. Thanks, Olga. Now let's create an invoice. Click on the Invoices tab in the sidebar, and then click on this button. You'll get the option to select the client you want to bill, choose the currency in which you will bill, edit the invoice ID, which is automatically created based on the last invoice, and lastly, choose the issue and due date. Click Create and the invoice will be made. Now you should choose what type of work and from which projects you're actually billing for. Click on the Import Time and Expenses button and you'll get to choose the projects you want to bill for and date range for which you are billing. Here you can also control how this information will be displayed. All entries in a single item, all entries shown in detail, or all entries grouped by project, user, or a date. If you choose detailed or grouped view, you'll have additional settings. Detailed view lets you check or uncheck the information to include or exclude. And in the grouped view, you can choose the categories in which you want to group the entries. If you enable the time running option, the numbers displayed on the invoice will be rounded, so it's easier to glance over and understand them quickly. If the projects you're billing for also had some billable expenses, make sure to include them in the invoice by enabling this option. Now you get to choose how to display expenses. You can group them by expense category, user, project, or in detail, in which case you select the information to display or exclude click import and your invoice will be populated. You'll now see the total amount before and after taxes. By checking or unchecking the checkbox in the taxes column, you can control which items the tax will be applied to. You can also add a discount here and its percentage will automatically be calculated. This newly created invoice will have an unsent status until you send it to clients, so you'll still be able to edit it and add new items to it. To manually add new items, click here on the add new item button. A new row will appear and here you can choose what type of item it is, a product or a service. Add its quantity and unit price and the amount will be calculated. To send an invoice, click on the send invoice button. And then you can customize the email text, choose to attach the invoice as a PDF, generate a separate expense report in the email and send yourself a copy of the invoice. Once you check everything, click send. The invoice will now change its status from unsent to sent. Invoice settings let you customize the invoices, so let's take a look at that. Click on the wheel icon and it'll lead you to the settings. In the first tab, you can set the item type you use to populate the invoice. So if your clients ask for some specific information to be pointed out, you can create a new item type just for that information. Click on edit, then add type, and simply type in the new item category. Here you can also customize tax percentages, add a second tax, and opt for simple or compound taxation modes. Simple mode applies both taxes to the total billable amount, and compound mode means that the second tax applies to the first taxed amount. You can customize the default invoice due date, as well as the invoice subject and note. The bill from option lets you add new legal entities to include as your billing address. This is useful if, for example, you wish your users to create invoices for you, in which case you can create a billable entity for each user. In the Appearance tab, you can control which columns will be shown in the invoice by selecting or deselecting the data. 
You can also choose if text will be displayed from left to right or right to left. In the Emails tab, you can customize the email template when you're sending out an invoice. Use the displayed parameters to create your own email templates. And then the actual values will be replaced when you send an invoice or reminder email. In case you want to change what it says on the invoice, you can do that in the Translations tab. For example, you might want to localize invoices or rename tax to VAT. To learn more about how to manage invoice status and payments or the other Clockify features I mentioned, you can check out our other videos. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.